body uh, is not used to uh, maybe the 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th rep with a certain weight. So that makes the body grow then, going through this pain barrier, experiencing uh, pain in your muscles and aching and just then go on and go on and go on. And this last two or three or four repetitions, that's what makes actually the muscle then grow. And that uh, divides then one from a champion and one from not being a champion. If you can go through this pain barrier, you make it to be a champion. If you can't go through, forget it. And that's what most people like, is having the guts. The guts to go in and just say, I go through and I don't care what happens. You know, it aches and if I fall down, I, I have no fear of fainting in the gym. Because I know it's, it, it could happen. I threw up many times while I was working out. But it doesn't matter because it's all worth it. People ask me all the time, they say to me, what is the secret to success? The first rule is trust yourself. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. Don't be afraid to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear or failure, or you will never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it's the right thing to do. Success will come. So don't be afraid to fail. And that brings me to rule number five, which is the most important rule of all. Work your butt off. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. And let me tell you, it is important to have fun in life, of course. But when you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. Now, if you want to coast through life, don't pay any attention to any of those rules. But if you want to win, there's absolutely no way around hard, hard work. I've always figured out that there's 24 hours a day. You sleep six hours and you have 18 hours left. Now, I know there's some of you out there now and says, well, wait a minute, I sleep eight hours or nine hours. Well, then just sleep faster, I would recommend. Just remember, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in a pocket. No pain, no gain. Come on, let's take a good breath. Take a good breath. Uh, 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 uh.
doing? Wait till they see these dogs in Africa. <laughs> this is for all the marbles, and we're gonna go after it, right? One year of training, all the, all wrapped up in one night. And we remember that. When you step out there, boy, remember all those grueling nights and mornings in the gym. And this is it. This is the reward that we wanted. We wanted so bad that we could taste it. Remember that when we get on that stage, right? We gotta get so excited, Louis, that when we get out there, we have only one thought in mind. We're gonna win. Yesterday is yesterday. If we try to recapture it, we will only lose tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Energy, let it out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, a machine here. There you go. Nobody works like David in this house. Thirteen, come on. Fourteen, come on. Fifteen, shut that muscle down. Sixteen, come on. Get it, 17. They don't know me, son. Get it, 18. They don't know me, son. Get it, 19. They don't know me, son. Yeah, 20, you got they some more. They don't know me, son. Shit. 21, yeah, get it again. Come on, we want to see it. Good, 22. Who's going to carry the boats and the logs? That's you, buddy. Come on, 23. Come on, 24. One more, David. Who's one more to carry the boats? You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You did it. Yeah. I get a lot of questions. People asking me for help. So I asked them, "We've been done to help yourself." Most of them say, "I've been working hard. I'm all about being your own hero, but I'm not about kissing your ass." In life, a lot of us believe that we're working much harder than we actually are. We think if we got up early for four days, we've earned something. You gotta drop your entitled mindset. It's dead weight. We believe you work harder than we actually have. Trust me, most of us haven't. The one thing in life you gotta realize is this. Learn to help yourself. Don't count on other people to help you stay hard. So years ago, I was scared to death to fly. So my mentality is this. If you're scared of something, learn about it. Figure it out to overcome it. So I went out and got lessons on how to fly. I'm up in the plane with a pilot. We had some bad turbulence and I freaked out. And the pilot says, there's one thing you can't ever do up here, and that's forget to fly the plane. In life, that's a true statement. We have hard times, we hit turbulence, we fail, we fall on our ass, we have divorces, we have all kind of bullshit that happens. And we sit there and think about that one issue, and it, it's all we think about. And we forget to fly the plane, the plane is us. We forget to focus on everything in life our habits, our goals, our destination. We end up failing. So another year has come and gone, and a lot of us are in the same place we were last year. What the fuck are you waiting on? We sleep one third of our fucking lives, and we think we can take fucking days off. We think we have the right to sit back and give ourselves fucking options on which way we're gonna go in life. Am I gonna run today? Am I gonna work out today while it's Christmas? It's New Year's. It's my birthday. Do you think time gives a fuck that it's Christmas, that it's New Year's, that it's your birthday? You give me some too many fucking options. Let me tell you one thing. Time is running out. You keep on sitting around wondering what the fuck you wanna do. You're just gonna run out of time. So make sure you do one thing. Stop following the fucking crowd. They may take time off, but you can't afford to. Once again, not every message I have is for everybody. 
So those weak or soft people out there who want to pick apart the messages, just tune it out. Life ain't about medals. It ain't about certificates. It ain't about houses, money, cars, fame, all that bullshit. It's about scars. So when you get judged, when everything is said and done with, you won't get judged on your medals. You get judged on your scars. Those scars show your willingness to get to the other side. They show your failures. They show your willingness to start from scratch. They show what you're willing to do to go the distance, to see what you're capable of. So make sure in life, don't be afraid to get scars. We have two voices in our mind, and boy, I know they're true. I've heard them, I hear them now, <laughs> and they're real. It's that one voice, that voice I used to love to fucking hear, that we love to hear. It's that soft motherfucker, that soft motherfucker voice that says, sleep the fuck in. It's okay. It's that coddling voice. You want to be hugged and nurtured and all that shit that says it's going to be okay. Well, there's another motherfucking voice that wakes you up in the middle of the night. It's not your girlfriend. It's not your boyfriend. It's that demon fucking voice that whispers in your fucking ear that says, get up, motherfucker. You're not fucking good enough. You got to work fucking harder. You haven't put enough time in. It's that voice you want to run away from. It's that voice you don't want to fucking hear. But guess what? It's that voice you need to fucking listen to. There's a lot of successful people in this world who still feel empty inside. And they wonder why they still feel empty. So they try to make another million, two million, three million. Let's buy a new car, a new house, a new boat. Let's buy more of everything. At the end of the day, they still feel real empty inside. For me, I wasn't even fucking successful. I just felt empty. So I was trying to hide my insecurities, my doubts, all this bullshit. So I was trying to dress up a turd. And when you try to dress up a turd, you're still a turd. It's like a turkey. You get a turkey for Thanksgiving. If you don't know what you're doing, you cook that motherfucker without going inside and cleaning it out. You gotta clean the insides out before you start dressing it up. Same thing with life. If you don't get inside your soul, inside your heart, and fix it, be willing to go to war with yourself. 